in a historic win, Donald Trump has been elected as the 47th president of USA. This is the second time he's becoming the president of USA. And since this news last night, since morning, we have been flooded with news, tweets, videos, analysis, newspaper articles related to Donald Trump becoming the president of USA. It has been a very, very big political event and not just in USA, but worldwide. Why so? Because as I stated, uh, it is a political event for sure. But more than that, it has huge economic implications worldwide and of course, including India. You as students uh, preparing for various government jobs, this is an important economic event. Why? Especially now, because we are at a stage where a lot of interviews are lined up for very, very important exams like SEBI. The interviews are uh, starting next week already. The dates are out. RBI, uh, which will be coming out with interviews dates soon after the phase two results are announced so the exam is already over you all are aware you have written the phase two exam nabat also you know phase two exams have been written and uh, many such other exams lhp and also interviews will be coming up so it's a good economic event to be un to understand and analyze right so that's what we are going to do today uh, hello everyone, I am Prachi Agarwal. Welcome to iExamB, prepare 50% faster by embracing the iExamB learning experience. Please don't sub forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for all the latest updates available on our channel. So let's talk about and delve into the first instance. So I will talk about four to five broader economic impacts and areas in which uh, the policies that uh, Mr. Donald Trump comes out with have an impact on the global economy. So first area uh, and very well covered is the trade policy. So Mr. Donald Trump has been very, very vocal about America first. So his theme, like in India, we, we had been talking about Atma Nirbhar Bharat uh, uh, since the COVID time. Uh, uh, Mr. Donald Trump is also a lot about protectionism for the own country and has been talking about America first, right? And in this, what he advocates for is increasing or hiking the tariffs on the imports that are done by the US, okay? In the crossfire, the first country that is hurt by this policy of Mr. Donald Trump is China. In fact, in last tenure uh, of Donald Trump as the president, uh, there was a trade war that had started between US and uh, uh, China, uh, which had hurt, hurt the global trade system also to, to a good extent. This now has benefits and not so uh, favorable impacts on India, right? Uh, when Donald Trump has this trade policy of hiking the uh, tariffs, it will not just alone be for China. It can very well be for India. In fact, in the past also, we have seen some tariff hikes done for India. Now, why this is important is because US is India's top export partner, right? So we may definitely get hurt by any kind of increase in tariffs on Indian exports if they are imposed. And if we see the data, which I have taken from Economic Times over here, uh, which which summarized the trade surplus uh, between India and US during the tenure of Mr. Donald Trump and the last <clears throat> president's presidency under uh, Mr. Biden, right? So uh, there was an increase in the trade surplus. That means it was beneficial for uh, India, of course. Uh, having said that, India still stands to benefit because of a lot of disruption coming in the global uh, uh, trade, international trade, if higher tariffs are imposed on China. So US also does have a China plus one strategy or policy where they will keep another country from which whom they are importing. And of course, India has a huge opportunity to fill uh, any kind of gap that comes in because of lesser trades or the trade being hurt in China. So yes, it's it's a sweet and sour situation. Of course, uh, a lot will also depend on the diplomatic ties 
between US and India where we do uh, have been playing a good part Mr Narendra Modi has a good relationship with not Mr Donald Trump so our dip- diplomatic ties will of course have a great uh, bearing on how these policies turn out and how it actually they impact india so if you are a student with a upsc preparation background and you happen to mention international trades as one of your areas of interest this is a very very important news that you should be able to analyze and give your opinions on in the interview specifically right the next area which donald trump has been talking about is about resolving wars in fact his first speech after Uh, the election results came out was that i will not start wars but i will end them of course he's been referring to the two major wars that have been going on globally uh, and really for a very very long time uh, one is the russia ukraine war and the other is the israel gaza uh, war that have been going on uh, now again if this actually turns out to be true and if there are efforts made to end these wars I think it can have a huge positive economic impact. Why so? Because uh, the biggest, uh, simplest answer is the commodity prices, right? The commodity prices have been on a rise. They have been uh, high uh, globally because of the impact and the disruptions caused by the wars globally. Of course, fuel, crude being one of the major uh, commodity in that place. and uh, peace time is of course good this would bring down commodity prices which will also help in bringing down inflation not just in india but in globally also a lot of countries are struggling with high inflation right so uh, yes if this goes through well this is a good economic news uh, before i move on let me tell you about the interview courses as i stated cv interviews have already the actual interviews are uh, starting next week and we at i exam we are uh conducting the mock interviews preparing students for the interview stage uh very aggressively and if you want to enroll you can always uh, you can always call us at 9205240288 we will also soon be coming out with interview courses and preparations for rbi and nabard uh also as the results uh, are going to be announced soon okay uh moving ahead the next area The next area of policies that Donald Trump Trump has been talking about is the tax cuts. Now these tax cuts of course relate to tax cuts in America of course not in India. How do they impact India? Uh this is a pro business strategy, right? So if the tax cuts are done that means uh there is a increase in the profitability of the companies, okay? And there is higher so that has an impact cascading effect. on the uh, investments that are done and the spending that is done leading to better economic growth from the demand aspect right so that that can be a good factor uh, uh that could that could help india from the exports point of view we do know we have a uh, very big industry which is the it industry the tech industry uh, that drives a lot of its revenue and our and we earn as a country a lot of exports because of the uh, pharma and the tech industry uh, which will stand to gain uh, if there is growth in us because a slowdown in us slows down the business for these sectors so uh, it it can have a positive impact uh, on india in that ways uh, the flip side however from a us economy point of view of a tax cut is the fiscal burden right so the fiscal burden is because a tax cut reduces the revenues for the government so the uh, and this i'm talking about the us government right so for the fiscal burden and the debt levels for the us government can go up which can have a negative impact on the bond yields globally right so that's a, a the flip side of it right so how well the policies of a tax cut which will reduce the revenue while the increase in tariffs uh which i talked about as the first point which will increase the revenue how well they balance out to have an impact on the fiscal position or the fiscal deficit uh and the debt position of us is what has to be uh seen right which one has a, a higher impact right so 
that's also an economic concept that you should be uh, preparing and analyzing well. Next is the monetary policy, right? So monetary policy, we know, we understand is the rates, uh, uh, decisions and the uh, stance that are given by the central banks in the country. In fact, today evening, India time, uh, Fed, uh, who is the central bank, uh, Fed Reserve is due for announcing the interest rate uh, decision today. So like RBI announces every two months, they come out with the monetary policy where they tell about the policy rates. Uh, similarly, the Federal Reserve also uh, comes out with its interest rate guides and the monetary policy every few months and today they are due. So it is being watched. Of course, our uh, Fed had started cutting rates to give a boost to the economy. Uh, and and growth, they have been focusing on that. Uh, and India is yet to do the rate cuts. Uh, it's uh, India has been focusing more on managing inflation. Now, uh, with Trump coming in, a lot of dynamics change, right? Uh, inflation, if war goes away, inflation could have a positive impact. However, if tariff hikes and with the fiscal position of the uh, government in the US changing, the inflation could actually worsen. So how these things, policies play out will have a huge impact. And it today, you know, uh, with Federal Reserve's decision, it will show what exactly the country is expecting. More importantly for India, how will RBI react in its next monetary policy that will be due in December? will be seen. So there was an interesting article today in Business Line. Uh, so there's a, a screenshot I've uh, presented over here, uh, where one of the ex-EDs have mentioned that why RBI should now be more worried about growth rather than focusing on inflation. So till now, RBI has uh, not started to cut rates, unlike few of the central banks like of course, the US, the European Central Bank, the Bank of Canada, who started cutting rates, uh, India is yet to do that. So it will be seen how inflation actually behaves and will RBI be changing its stance towards supporting growth or maintaining its stance to control and keep inflation in control. Right. So that is another point. And the last area that I will talk about today is the currency. Right. Uh, of course, currency, the US and INR uh, is a very, very important uh, parameter. In fact, for RBI, it has been one of the most important primary uh, parameters to keep in mind after inflation control. So if you've seen over the past few months, are, there have been a whole huge number of articles related to how RBI has been trying to support uh, through its interventions uh, the, the weakening of the rupee. So there are tons and tons of articles related to uh, RBI intervening uh, in the market uh, through its uh, various uh, operations to uh, prevent the weakening of the Indian rupee. Uh, so my question to you is, how is currency likely to be impacted, uh, whether the rupee will depreciate or appreciate because of the economic policies uh, uh, under Trump, right? So you can write in the comments what your outlook is, and uh, of course, uh, we will discuss it uh, in your in with your replies in the comment, right? So please do comment. So like I told you, what the pros and cons of different strategies can be, what can be the impact on the currency, especially of course the rupee in our case, right? Uh, so that's all for my end. I hope this will give you good food fodder to think and chew on before your interviews or if you are preparing for the exams for the next cycle uh, especially if you are preparing for rbi grade b 2025 and if you have any other queries uh, and want to understand the strategy and how you should start your preparation uh, cp sir cp joshi sir who is an ex egm uh, AGM of RBI is holding a workshop on 16th of November. You will, can find the registration details in the comments box uh, in the description. So you can register for this to get the insights into how you can start your preparation for Grade B 2025.
Please don't forget, just a reminder again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. And if you have any other queries, you can always reach out to us at 920-552-4028 or write us at hello at iexambi.com. Thank you, everyone, and wishing you all the best.